Jaguar is an unorthodox team. You have to put a lot of work to make a team like that work. Yeah, it, it's tough. So right now, here comes the champ, the reigning defending champion, who believes that he is going to defend his title. He, he does. believes he's going to win. And a lot of people feel like he's... <laughs> he and I had an cutting. animated conversation yesterday yeah. about how he said, everyone is free. I've got this. It's a wrap. That's Bet what all your says, money though. on me. He is very confident. But he's, like you said, he's never not confident. That's, right. how, that's how Filipino that's how he rolls. That's how he approaches life and his game and everything. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of a mindset you have to have playing Marvel. Is, yeah. Because if Mar you're double-guessing your decisions in a game like Marvel, you're losing. Marvel is a game about confidence. It I is. mean, Imposing we, your will. Yeah, we joke about, you know, YOLO foot dives and just do it Hellbreakers. That's how you play Marvel. That, this is win. the game we play. That's how you win. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I wouldn't tell him otherwise, but it's just, I feel like, the skill level, the general play, and uh, kind of the amount of players now have really kind of leveled off. Like, they've gotten to a point where they're all equal. Like, yeah. And if, sure, Champ might be better than, let's say, you know, most of them. And, you know, the other couple of, like, Chris G might. But in a game like Marvel and the, the amount of teams and variables, sometimes that doesn't matter. Right on. And yeah, his opponent, uh, we actually did his match last year, you and I. This is Guam Pete from Guam. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, this is his second Evo. He beat LLND last year. Uh, that, that was a really big win for him, and he's trying for the biggest win of his life right now. He's trying to knock off the champ. And champ is just all game face. No smiles today. No smiles. He's got his shades on. Now, there's a rumor going around, and I don't know how true this is, but he uses his shades to cheat. Like, he uses his shades... That like the yeah, hands. he'll be he'll be like you know staring straight forward, but because he has shades on, you can't see that his eyes are looking at your hands to see which direction you TAC in. TAC. Uh, so I, I would almost believe that if he didn't sit so close to the TV that's true, screen when that's he plays. True. But, but it, that's a good theory. It, it's something it's something I've heard because he is very good at breaking TACs. He breaks TACs well over the expected one third of the time. He breaks TACs well over half the time. Yeah, you can. I mean, TACs are of course random, but there, you could always kind of look at the meter, look at the health, look at everything, yeah. and, and kind of make an educated guess as to what direction they're going to be going. So, so Champ's going Phoenix. Uh, no, no Dormammu here. No, he'll be going Phoenix and Fools. Yeah. You know, he wants to he wants to have some safety there. Here we go. Chris getting opened up early. You know, Champ does not like this matchup though. He really. Well, he's feels... played a lot of GC Yoshi, so yep. he, he knows. See, in my perspective, going Dormammu is the safer option. I, I really think that Phoenix adds an element of variance. And if you're a great player like Filipino Champ, you don't you want to minimize variance. Yeah. You don't want to you know increase it. I think for zoning teams, uh, Phoenix is good in a sense because she destroys zoning, and you also just gain a lot of meter from blocking. So you have a lot of opportunities in which hits are not converted into full kills, and you're gaining meter. Right. So that's kind of why uh, he likes Phoenix for zoning characters. Oh, went up for the grab, and that happens sometimes you get a quarter circle back. Yeah, Filipino champ, he's playing a, a little shaky right now. He's, he's missing, a uh, missing a few combos here. He's got to be nervous. Oh, you know, uh, I was talking to some SoCal guys, and um, they all said they, they do not want champ to win. Yes. And they all want to beat Chris G. So that's basically the, the, the theme and the story of this evolution is nobody wants champ to win. Nobody wants champ to win. And they all want to beat yeah. Chris G. Chris G has the biggest target. Pretty much I can remember, ever since the, the Justin Wong days, when it was, you know, Justin is going to win, somebody please beat him. And Chris, he's he's earned that. He has earned that. He definitely has. He's the best player in the world right now. It's not even remotely close. Like, for a while, it was the, the big five of Marvel. That was uh, Yipes, Chris G, Filipino champ, uh, Justin Wong, and uh, PR Balrog. There is no, sense. there is no big five anymore. It's Chris G so. and everybody else. I think so too. Good grab. This is not one of Phoenix's favorite matchups. <laughs> oh, this is that Gimlet. He, he's got, he's got five to mess around with. Oh, he oh. got caught. He got caught. Oh, he oh. dropped it. Just slide, just slide. Oh, wow. That was a shaky game for both players. Jay, and that's a perfect example of somebody going into their optimized yes, combo. Yes, we just talked about this. Where all he needed to do was slide instead of doing the loop. Oh my gosh. All right. He's got to shake that off. And yeah, Filipino champ, that is like the third time I've counted that he's messed up 
a combo that is he is like 99.9% on. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. He's got to be feeling the heat. Nerves are real. Nerves are very real. He got away with the down exchange, so he's probably going to finish it off without even needing an infinite. I haven't seen Champ do an exchange in a long time. Yeah. And the way he's been playing in uh, locals lately, he always no goes for TACs. Yeah. yeah, no TACs. Right. He's trying to chase down Satmo, he's not getting there. Yeah, Guam Pete just trying to get some room to breathe and play Marvel. <laughs> he does not want Magneto doing this. Oh, great air scoop right there. Champ is too late, it's too late, yeah. Oh, that was bad X Factor anyways. Uh, he tried that j instant jump light, which uh, because of the size of Sentinel, you could do a lot of weird overheads versus him. Right. Yeah, Guam. I don't think he's over that last game yet. That I was a, a really strong...